signal, which is All fine right. for me to eat him. Okay. Oh, we're here with Florida Thunder digging with Rob, and he's already digging. I just got, while we're talking, I just dug my first signal. It was a really, it was a 25, which is high for a weedy, but this looks awful green. And I watch it be a memorial. He's got something. It, it's definitely of the penny variety. Ah! Yeah. I smell skunk! Oh, <laughs> oh, well, anyway, yeah, we're here in, in Florida, and I have met up here with uh, Florida Thunder digging with Rob. Hi, folks. Say hi, Rob. How we doing? It's finally great to meet you. And uh, we're going to do a little dirt a digging here. We have on this lot, which is next to this 1912 house. And the resident there just gave me permission to do the front yard of the 1912 house. So we're going to do some dirt. I'm beached out. You're beached out? Yeah, I'm beached out. So. <laughs> well, I primarily do dirt, too. Beach is my, beach is my fun time. So I'm going to turn this off now okay. and come back when I find something. It was an odd signal for a penny. It was you had your simplex now. Really bouncy, but there it is. Okay, folks, I'm keeping with my tradition. I always seem to find tools. And I have done that again. <laughs> We're going to stick with Rob because he just said, oh, that's a good signal, and he's digging it up. So we're going to stick with him for a minute. See if his ear's any good. He's got it. And what we... a cable connector. Ha! Uh, uh. Or as Meryl would say, meh. Yeah, meh. Ooh, we got us a dime. We're rich. I'm going to try to do this one live because it sounds like a penny. And Mr. Rob has told me there's a lot of weeds here. So. There's the spot. Let's see what we got. Boy, that just disintegrated on me. Good catch. See. It's supposed to be right there, but I'm hitting pavement, so it may just be rebar. I'm not getting past that. Whatever it is, it's under there. That ain't no fun. The butt end of a beaver tail. Oh well, it happens like a lot of this trip has been is a big old screw Mr. Rob has called me over he says he's on the board so I'm gonna run over here real quick see what he's found here we go exactly what it turned out to be is a weedy I don't know the date yet but there is the uh here is the wheat stalks. Something, something. It was deep. It was deep. I know that's terrible, but nope, that's what I do. <laughs> it's the best cleaning solution there is. 1920 something. Ooh. So it's yeah. an oldie. Well, that makes sense for a 1912 house. Alrighty, guys, that's actually my first weedy this month. Or no, I'm sorry, my third. It's been a tough month, guys. I can't get the last number. All right, let me number. check. I'll put it on pause. I've got a spray bottle we can spray it we don't want to water yeah, it down you're right it's it's right there on the end that's yeah see i can do this dalton doesn't like the thumb scratch it's like a fingers on a chalkboard to him wanna... just one yeah a couple all that's yeah. all that is is dawn there's a, a oh, drop okay, of dawn good. in there water and dawn yeah, it's taking it off it doesn't hurt the coins i mean they get worse going through your pocket in the laundry 
I'm going to say either a one or a seven, I think. I think All right, guys, we hit it with a little water, and I think it's either a one or a seven. I'm not sure. It's really hard. But, yeah, that last one's worn off, guys, but it is definitely a 1920s. Well, it sounds like a penny. We can always hope. thinking probably not. Oh no. Somebody had him some old English. Sin. That's a lot of energy to use to get wasted away at Pop Tabaville. Been a long time between signals and this didn't even really ring up as what a penny normally rings up at. This rang up as a 59 and it's a zinkin' for sure. But at least it's something. I was starting to wonder there for a while. Well, Mr. Rob's over there. He dug a 1959 nickel. All I got is a dead battery for my camera. This doesn't even work in my camera. I've been picking up a lot of stuff, but this lot has been previously hunted. This is not a new location. So, neither one of us is finding a whole bag of gold at the end of the rainbow. But we're out here, we're digging it. Oh my gosh, I detected a detector! I found one! It's Rob! Is that doing that because of my machine? Yes. Oh, wow. I, all I got to do is change the frequency. It'll go away. Okay. Yeah, the beaver tail. And they ring up the same as a freaking weedy. Every time. I got an unusual when I asked Rob if he knew what it was, and he's encountered these before he said they're from the 1920s or so and this is a roofing nail so kind of a good cool sign. thing rob says that's a good sign. good sign so we're gonna keep digging got a zinking Yeah, it was a zinking. It was partly eaten up, so oh my God, I, I I knew I didn't even have to try to find a date. Nope, that's exactly right. I got an old carabiner thing, a jigger.
I got a nickel, but I don't think it's very old. I think it's a 1990. But I got a nickel. Just another Zinkin. This is probably the coolest thing I found on my whole trip. It's Donald Duck on a pirate ship. He might have been treasure hunting like me. Well, he's going home with me. He's not going to be buried in the dirt anymore. I have rescued Donald Duck. Okay. We got us a mystery piece. I don't know what it is. First, when I first dug it up, I thought it was a pot pipe because all I saw was that. But I don't know what that is. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Rob will know.